Divas. I have two paintings to show you today from Diamond Art Club. They are related to each other, but you can see one is a square and one is a round. If you're new to Diamond Art Club, that's how you tell the difference between round and square. And you know, you notice that um, on the, the flashy uh, kit, they have a scan me for a 10% off your next purchase on every kit. And um, if the when they mail it to you, you get a 15% off in the little strip. But if this is your first um, purchase from Diamond Art Club, check down my description box below. I have a 15% off for your very first purchase from Diamond Art Club. Anyway, the back has all the instructions on it as well as um, some things from the inside. What makes these related is not just that they're by the same designer, Mandy Manzano, but they have a similar theme. One is Read Me a Bedtime Story, and this is Tell Me a Story, Tell Me Stories uh, by Mandy Manzano. They are a little bit different sizes. This is a 26.3 by 19.7 inches, which is 67 by 50 centimeters. This one is 20.5 by 28 inches, which is 52 by 71 centimeters. And uh, so one's a little bit bigger than the other. Uh, usually the rounds are going to be the bigger ones because you need more space to put a round down than a square down. Okay, so I want to show you these two canvases by Mandy Manzano. One and the other. Let's start with the round. I got them both because I just love, first I love the theme of it, and I love Mandy Manzano's work. She does a lot of princesses and things like that, storybook characters and, and things. And it always looks a little bit like stained glass. Now, you'll notice on the round canvas that it doesn't look um, like It doesn't look like it's going to look in the end. Let me show you that. You can see better on the video than I can here. Way up close and personal, you can see the original guide circles that were on here. And we don't use guide circles anymore. Um, but on the bottom of each canvas for Diamond Art Club, you have the name of the painting, you have a thumbnail, you have the dimensions, and the designer. Now, Diamond Art Club licenses their paintings, which means that they buy the rights to use the image from the artist. Excuse me. From the original artist. I'll move you back slightly so you can see the whole canvas here. Um, also on the bottom of the canvas you see the social media and you see a warranty on the canvas and the drills. Now Diamond Art Club canvases have a softy back. The older ones are more uh, stiff and less fuzzy than the newer ones which is just fine. Um, the older, I don't have the kit with this because I opened it up once before and um, lost the video, so I'm doing it a second time. I do apologize. The newer kits for Diamond Art Club come like this. Um, they come with come on now. Um, the newer kits come with something extra. They come with a they all come with a tray. The newer kits come with a stopper that you can pull on, on and off the end. You, they come with a random colored pen and squishy to help your hands. And I will have a video out soon on how to make it easier on your, your wrists and your hands and your back as you diamond paint for hours like some of us do. They Both types of kits come with multi-placers. This one comes with a 4 and a 7 and I love the 4 the best. They all come with hearts of wax that you can use. Um, and they come with baggies. The new kits come with more baggies than the older ones do. The newer kits come with two special things. They come with a washi tape. Now I like to use the washi tape 
on, on the edges of the paintings so that uh, you can line up your drills really nice and crisp along the edges and some use it to section off your diamond paintings across the plastic canvas so that you can you can cut a section of the plastic canvas off at a time others use it for something completely different like scrapbooking <laughs> and um, calendars planners and things and if you want some planner videos I have plenty of those as well if you can look in there um, planners are for crafters as well that you can document all the crafty things that you get done um, so I'll, there I have other planner videos that you might want to see another way to pull the plastic canvas away from the side is with a cover minder and the newer kits come with a cover minder it has a small magnet for the back of the canvas and a larger magnet for the top and they it holds back the plastic of the canvas while you're working on it that way you don't have to cut it off and it's out of your way temporarily okay that's just with the newer kits let's take a tour of uh, a little bit more of a tour of the canvas um, this one seems like it's kind of under the sea it's got almost like a fishtail it's got some coral and shells it looks like in the back almost like another fishtail here um, some almost like another fishtail it's kind of like the swirling of um, the seaweed and it's got almost like a boat shape up here but it's it's a fantasy type thing um, let me show you what the end result of this painting should look like Dine Art Club gives you gives you a sticker that shows you what the end of the canvas will be can you see that well enough here it's darker obviously than this um, they originally did the guide circles to help you see the different symbols easier uh, but sometimes when you're doing a round painting uh, if you don't get the dots right on there uh, you might see some of the guide circle around the outside and that's the annoying part but around the outside of those guide circles is the color that that drill is meant to be so it um, it shows in between you know how when you put a circle and a circle next to each other and four of them in a row you have this little diamond shaped opening in the center um, you'll always have that with round diamond paintings so the color that shows up through that little diamond is the correct color to keep the consistency going so and this is a big sticker this whole thing is a big sticker it comes with the name of the kit the design the um, original uh, designer the start and end date to keep in your journal if you'd like it comes with a smaller sticker as well that you can use on the end of your box or you can use it in a um, in a different way however you keep track of yours under the picture of it it gives the dimensions and <clears throat> the uh, DAC SKU number which is an inventory number and the dimensions and that it's around on the side you come with all the little stickers you can use these individual stickers to kit up you can put them on your baggies or the plastic um, containers that you put your opened drill packs in and for diamond art club the first few under the number 150 are your AB drills which means Aurora Borealis it's got a special coating on it this painting has one in them <clears throat> and I'll show you that in a moment The newer paintings have several more. And if you have trouble working with um, Aurora Borealis drills and the pink wax, I have a whole, um, a whole video on 27 tips for working with uh, special drills and like the gems and the Aurora Borealis drills and how to, um, how to make it easier to work with them. So this is their number 130, their yellow Aurora Borealis drill, and I'll show you exactly where they go on the canvas in a moment. So let's look at the rest of the drills, and I'll show you the front side of them. I like to put the sticker in the bottom of the drill bag so that it stays with the stickers, and I can visually easily see, I can easily visualize 
which drills go with which diamond painting. I'm trying to hold these up at an angle that you can see the most drills and the number at the same time. It is a big variety of colors in this pack. Big variety of drills. A lot of 310s. <laughs> this is a train of 310s, which is the black. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Okay, then. <laughs> 10 packs of 310. Um, you will see that it outlines. Um, it's a thick, thicker black outline uh, that accentuates the colors very, very well in here. It just makes the rest of the colors pop. Now, let's see how I can... I can show you this from. Yep, there's some peachy colors in here, some light blues, light greens. See, I'm feeling that you can't really see the color of the drills real well when I show you the, the fronts of the numbers of the DMC color numbers. Some of you like to trade out um, the color in special drills. There's more of the colors, the backs of them. You can see the color better this way. If you like to put more uh, special drills, more ABs in your paintings, you can kind of tell then which numbers you'd like to exchange by that. Crinkle, crinkle, crinkle. I know. I'm sorry. All right. And these you can tell easily because they have a lot in the individual packs. These are some of the darker colors. I would, su I would suggest if you want to trade out some of these colors that you might do it with some of the lighter, the lighter colors. And that would brighten up the painting even more. Okay, so the AB drills are going to be the number ones in the paintings. And I'll show you where all the number ones are. If you're looking down at the bottom of the canvas, at the very thing below her tail, down here, a tail or a whatever you want to call it. Um, they're down in this area. They're also up in the shell-like areas. They go all the way across. They're, there's a multitude in this top, top tail. They're in the top in this one, and they're in, they follow down below. So they're, they come up and they swirl around the painting. Um, and that's the way you'll see them in it. Uh, that's the way your eye will flow. I would suggest maybe doing some, um, if you're going to trade out some more, I would do some of the pinks in here. And I would do some of the greens at the bottom, um, the, the uh, turquoise ones at the bottom, so that it would bring your eye fully around the painting. Yeah, that's the way I like to do mine. All right, um, thank you for joining me for this diamond art. Oh, wait, no. <laughs> that's too early. I want to show you the other one, too. Oh my goodness, I like to roll them up with the picture on the outside. Sometimes I try to roll the drills inside the bag here, inside the painting, so that if I deliberately lose the box, I still have everything put together in you know, a nice little package. I make sure the thumbnail is to the outside so I can see it real well. And a lot of times Diamond Art Club bags are big enough that you can roll the drills inside the painting because that's how they come. All right, I'll put this back in the box. Back in the box, back in the box. This one, my daughter and my granddaughter would love these. <clears throat> All right, now let's take a look at the square one, the Tell Me Stories.
Here we go. Ooh, it's heavy. It might be smaller, but it's heavier. <laughs> All right. Let's take a look at this gorgeous canvas. This is also in a different direction, different directional. You can see that you can you can make out the um, the area even clearer with the newer kit because, uh, and this is also the difference between the round and the square. It shows the color more brilliantly because the squares butt up against each other. There's nothing to to poke out from in between them. Um, sometimes there is, but you won't see it at a, at a distance the way you're um, the way you're supposed to see it. So this is also a vertical where the other one was horizontal. This is also a vertical painting, and you have a, a heart shaped something rather down here with some flowers. You have a a musical, um, like a keyboard, going this way. You have another one of the fishy tails coming down here. And I'm going to show you the whole canvas like this, and then I'm going to put it sideways so you can see the whole thing at once. This is like a big goldfish coming up here, or a dolphin, dolphin nose type thing. Um, more of the hearts in the background, and like little flower dots everywhere, and the darker color swirling. It looks like there's seaweed hanging from the top. Okay, you have the the little bit fuzzier canvas. It still has the pinked and poked non-fray edge. It still has the sparkle to the background of the canvas. <clears throat> and I'm going to put it this way so that you can now I'm going to put it so that you can see the keyboard and the the goldfish at the bottom here as we look at the drills you can see them now again Diamond Art Club puts their AB drill numbers at the very top of the chart under the number 150 and let's see how many this chart's supposed to have None. This one doesn't have any ABs. What I would do is I would trade out the, um, let's see, white background. I would trade out the 3865s for white ABs, the sparkly ones. And that way you would get sparkle all through the canvas. You would get it in the keyboard. You would get it in the little uh, flowers and dots that are dotted all over it. I would also maybe get some in, trade some in the golds of the sun here, um, which would be, let's see, that's a, a plus number. That would be the 743s. I would trade them out. And they're also in the, the uh, fishy dolphin thingy and a little bit in the hearts. So, and in order to keep your eye moving around the entire thing, I would also use it in some of the pinks. Let's see, the outer one of the uh, the pinks might be, you might want to do it uh, with the letter, the sideways letter, with the letter P. Where is the P here? That would be a 603. Yep, that's what I would do. I would use the 603, the 3865, and what did I say the other one was? and the 743. I would get those three in the special drills if I were doing it myself. I like to put the sticker, and you, again the sticker, and you get the individual, um, individually cut uh, little ones to, to kit up. I like to put the sticker in the bottom of the bag so that I can visually match up the drills. Now I'll try to show you the trains again from both sides so you can see both the number and the the color, the actual color. In the drill trains. Have you done any underwater paintings? Not painting underwater. I don't mean actually doing it underwater. Of course you can't do that. I'm, I mean, have you done any paintings that are like sea? About the sea. 
Which ones have you done? Put them in the box below. The, just the comment box is below. I'd love to know. If you want to show me some of your uh, finished diamond paintings, you might want to go on over to uh, Facebook, Wanda's Work Basket on Facebook, and there you can post, you can join the group and paste, post your pictures of what you're working on in that group. So we can all ooh and ah over our work together. I'd love to see what you're doing. Alright, how many? Three tens. Okay, we've got a dark navy in here. And then you've got all the three tens in this chain. Let me see how many. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, seven. And then you've got a nine three nine. That's also a very dark, 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 dark blue. Here's the whites that I would trade out, the 3865s. See the color well enough in this one? And it's kind of like a winter white. It's not a perfect white. Just so you know. I would not do it to the black or the dark blue because that would just be too much in the painting and it would overwhelm it all. I think, anyway. Okay, get back in here now. Come on. Behave. I don't know if I if I can show you. Alright, this is just not working the way I did it. Let me see if I can do it differently here. Four a strip instead of five. Oh well, they're just not going to... I should struggle with this off camera. <laughs> the struggle is real. The crispy critter. <laughs> Jeez. Oh, I don't know. Maybe I'm not even allowed to say that saying. All right, here's the rest of the colorful colors. The colorful colors. There you go. Let me go through the drill train quickly. There we go. Okay. So as you see, as you can see, it's going to be a very colorful one. The two of them go fairly well together. They would look good in a child's room. You can see that Diamond Art Club puts their name, uh, the name of the kit and the um, their inventory number on the top of the diamond drill, the drill bag. And I thank you for joining me for bedtime stories. <laughs> Tell me a story and bedtime stories. Um, I... Uh, I love these. They've got a fantasy element to it. I hope you do read to your kids and your grandkids uh, if you have the chance to. Even if you're distanced from them, put them on tape. Put them on a video. Put them on YouTube. And uh, send your kids, your grandkids a link so that they always have a story from you that they can... So that they always have a story from you and they can hear your voice and and hear that the love in your voice so that they always have a story from you and can hear the love in your voice that you like to share with them that's your inspiration for the day read read to your kids grandkids they love to hear the love in your voice their the love that you have for them it does come out through your reading. It does encourage and enrich their lives profoundly when you do this. Don't neglect it. That's one thing. Don't neglect it. You'll never regret the time that you spent reading your favorite stories 
to the young people in your life. If you don't have any young people in your life, do it um, Do it for a shelter, for shelter kids. Uh, their parents are often exhausted from working and um, from trying to meet the basic ends of life, basic means of life. So do it for others. You will get a great deal of joy from it. Go to a, a children's hospital and volunteer with the kids. You will never regret it. Take your favorite books, share them. Share them. Okay, um, I'll roll this up, and as I do, I'm going to say goodbye. So thank you for joining me, Divas, for this gorgeous kit, and don't forget to read. <laughs> Bye for next time. Bye, Divas. Thank you.